Hi, it's Dr. Dean Kane. We're going to talk about urethreads again, but this time for the arms. And for most patients, both men and women, women in particular, they want the skin or the bat wing deformity to be lifted. They also want to get rid of this crepiness that they see with aging. So the way we're going to do that is, is we're going to be using urethreads in a parallel fashion here as they're carried around the back of the arm. Then what we're going to do is attach it around circumferentially in this direction. And by the time we get down to here, we're going to be putting the horizontal aspects of the threads through the dermis to both contract, firm, and tighten. Then we're going to contract in this direction or a matrix pattern so that we can make the collagen that has been lost with aging. And we'll show you when we're done. Get rid of my 64 year old arms. The threads are going to be double placed from these outside line, inside line, creating a hammock which was, will contract and firm in an upward direction. Oh, we're Euro threading Lori Kane's arms. All of that bat wing skin excess, okay, that kind of drapes underneath, is going to be hammocked with these sutures as we put them in through the use of a very long needle, also called a trocar. And you can see it following directly in the skin, not under the skin, but in the skin. So it will stimulate collagen over the next three weeks and last for well over a year. And so I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, he did a local anesthetic to numb my entire arm. Totally um, feeling okay. So we've, we've just put in the vertical sutures and we're gonna take out the needle or trocar, leaving the suture in within the dermal portions of the skin. And now we're gonna proceed from that. Here is the lateral arm. So far so good. Lori's extremely comfortable and we're just going to continue making our round. We're returning to Lori having done both her arms circumferentially creating a big lattice all the way around her arm and a sling underneath her arm. You can already see that it's starting to lift this is only due to the fact that there's a little bit of swelling and the sutures, but you're going to see that this is going to contract, the skin is going to firm, and the whole area is going to be like a, uh, a compression garment around her arm. So we're done. Lori, how was the experience? It really was, I was actually a little nervous going into it, and once I got numb, I really was just fine. Really, it was very tolerable. Um, I feel fine. I took Tylenol prior, so really everything went really smoothly and I could deal with it pretty well. So now it's going to be some compression in about two or three weeks, some massage, and then we will see the results in six weeks. He's going to tell you a little bit about recovering her arms. Um, so I'll, I'll wind up using some kind of a support just to give it support uh, garment and um, I know I'm a power walker, so I'll continue to walk, but I'm not going to use my arms in the power walking. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use my arms for a couple of weeks. Uh, can't lift, can't do dishes, can't clean the house. <laughs> That's all good. Um, but really... She's um, got a husband for that. Yes, I do, who cooks and cleans. He's very good. So, um, so yeah, and I don't really have to apply anything. I don't have to really massage anything. We just leave it alone and let it let the magic do its trick